one can only hope that this is another great coin review from the Jermaine you Mint. Welcome to the Pauly Buck YouTube channel, everybody. My name is Paul, and I sure am glad to have you with me on this one here today. Today, I am unboxing and reviewing the material, the packaging, the coin itself from the Germania Mint right here on my channel. The Germania Mint has been sending me things like this in the past to review for you all to see before you decide whether or not you want to purchase it. This is a great way, and I think I've been doing a great job with these videos showing off some things from the germanium mint that are up and coming on this channel things that you might possibly want to buy also i give my thoughts on high premium silver coins all that's going on right behind me right Welcome now to the channel again my name is paul this is the Polly buck youtube channel and i am working with the germanium mint showing off some of their products before you get a chance to buy them now, I did a video a little while back about this one, the Copernicus 1 ounce, 4 nines fine, silver collectible from the Germania Mint. Um, I will leave that link in the description. I might even put that video right there if it's there. Go ahead and click on that one if you want to check out this coin. Great coin, great review, one of 15,000 coins uh, available from the Germania Mint. I still don't think they are available at the big bullion dealers yet. They might be still on pre-sale. But definitely a cool piece if you're into astrology and Copernicus, the greatest astronomer known to Poland. Anywho, we're going to slide this one back out of the way. And don't mind my little Michigan nutcracker here. We're starting to decorate for Christmas. I know it's kind of early, but you know, happy wife, happy life. I got another setup over on this side of me as well, you, you just can't see. But the Germania Mint has now sent me the 2023 2 ounce Copernicus. And I'm actually really excited about this one. And as we unbox this one and show it off and give you, as I always do, an up close personal look at this thing, something I noticed right off the bat, and I noticed it with the ruins as well that came from the Germania Mint, is right at the top of the box. So I want to flip it over a little bit, show you this. There are 1,473 pieces of what's inside of this box. This one is labeled number four. So I'm expecting the coin to be labeled number four as well. In Germania Mint fashion, they do a great job with that as far as branding their products. This product isn't just a box branded. I'm hoping, I'm hoping that it's not just a branded box like a lot of the stuff you see come out of, say, New Zealand Mint. Other mints like that, it's basically a numbered piece of cardboard, not a numbered coin. So when it comes to silver collectible coins like that, I always make sure if I'm buying into something like this, that the coin itself is numbered. Again, I'll either leave it in the description or drop another tag there would be the two ounce high relief ultra high relief coins coming from uh, the gangster series and those are two ounces of beauty as well but the main thing about those is very low mintage of 500 but everything is numbered everything matches and that's one thing that i do enjoy when i'm talking about buying or investing really in collectible silver coins in the hopes that we get a return on that investment. Now, not all silver coins like these are great for investment. If it's something that you're into, it's definitely something you should think about buying for your own personal collection. Hopefully it holds its value somewhere down the line. If you needed to sell it, you could get at least what you paid for out of it, but not all of them are like that. So number one, one thing to look for is mintage. I would never go below 500 when buying collectible silver like that because they're just they're just so scarce at that point like not a lot of people know about them kind of like this one like you've got to be into astronomy or like the brand name germanium mint germanium mint makes such fine products that the brand name itself helps sell all of their stuff they do such a fine job which is why i love reviewing their stuff and i have yet for them to send me something that got a bad review on my end because i i just don't see it happening i just don't see it happening they are so 
above and beyond everybody else's stuff that I am happy to do it for them. So let's get into this. As usual, their packaging is great. Comes in these boxes, all different sizes. We'll pop open the lid and it's still protected with a top lid. And we open it up and as we're gonna see, we're gonna see our, oh look at this, here it is. This is our COA for the two ounce antiqued version. Pop it open. And as you can see, my COA is also numbered number four of 1,473. Got a 10 euro denomination, 2023, four nines, 45 milli millimeter, two ounces, antiqued finish, amber, yellowing, gold, and numbering. So, numbering. Let's see. Classic holographic germanium mint. Let's see if this thing is numbered. We're going to get out some of this packaging. Set it off to the side. Oh, geez. Look at this thing. Oh, my. Look at that. Nothing else. There's nothing else in that box. Check out this display. Two ounce Copernicus. Four nines fine. 2023. Look at that thing just sitting there on a desk. Now that's a nice display. U.S. Mint, you can keep your clamshells because this is how you display coins. This display, let me put this behind it. It might not help. You can see the solar system behind it, kind of like this blister pack in the one ounce version. Let's uh, see if we can bring this in. I'll grab a piece of paper, maybe get a better look. There it is. Look at that. Now this is a desk piece. I've got a plan for this. This thing is gonna have a little light behind it, shine on there, I can already picture that. This is a really cool piece. Um, does it come out? Oh yeah, there we go. Coin slides right in here, holds nice. I'll get all the fingerprints and stuff off it later. But yeah, matches the blister pack of the one ounce version and let's see capsules open i'm going to slip a glove on quick pop this out so the sun in this is actually a piece of amber and for those of you who don't know what amber is that is fa fossilized tree sap and that is one thing that makes this thing just amazing. Antique coins bring out so much detail in a coin. If, if you've never held or own an antique coin, an antique silver coin, I do recommend doing that because of the, just, just the detail that you get out of this thing is just amazing. Now, would something like this hold its value? I think to the right collect. Oh, there it is. Bam, right there, number four. So again, the COA, the packaging, and the coin, all bonuses for me when I'm buying collectible silver coins such as this. Will something like this hold its value? I think something like this is for the extreme collector that is into either Copernicus himself or astrology. This is a great, great desk piece. Either one of these is a great desk piece to have in your office, at your home, if this is something that you are into. I'm gonna come in a little bit on this and hope the camera doesn't get funky on me. There we go. The detail is just amazing. Ultra high relief, I'm gonna come up and you can see how far everything sticks up off this coin. Actually using a piece of amber is an amazing add-on, touch, what have you, to this coin. This isn't just a glass marble. This is, this is history in itself right there as the sun. Give it a flip over. And on this one... Look at their mint mark. Right next to two ounce, four nines fine, germanium mints mint mark right there. 
the stars, this solar system, the coat of arms from the Central Bank of Malta. This holds a 10 euro denomination over top the 5 euro denomination on the 1 ounce BU silver version. And the detail is at, let's just see. Let's just do a comparison quick for this video. Bring this one in. Both beautiful coins. Both have their own unique detailing where this has the proof and this is all antiqued and everything just pops. Everything in the proof on this pops, but everything on this stands up off the coin in this, in this high relief version. So again, when we're talking about buying to invest in or buying to please your own needs as far as a collection, when we're talking about high premium silver coins, if you're buying to an investment, as an investment, you have to be very careful on what you're buying into. Again, a couple things that I look for in my own personal self is nothing lower than 500 coins coas numbered coins numbered the the packaging numbered everything has a paper trail if you want to call it to let me know that this in fact is coin number four out of 1473 coins the whole trail is there so if i was ever to turn and want to resell this I have facts stating that this is the COA for this coin. This is the actual packaging that this coin came in. This isn't just a COA or a box that has a number on it. They take the extra time, and that's why there's extra premium. They take the extra time on their work, and their work stands, stands up for itself. Germanium went, knocked this one out of the park as they've knocked so many and will continue to knock so many more out of the park. So let's slide this baby back into the capsule as carefully as possible. It's got my glove. There we go. As carefully as possible. Seal her back up. Lock her in. Get it in this beautiful display case. Pop the one ounce back in the blister pack. Line them up next to each other. And I want you guys to know that there is also a gold version of these coins. And I doubt you're going to see it on this channel unless I get myself a nice Christmas present and purchase, this, purchase that myself. Ah, that's yet to come. We're going to find out about that. That might be a great present just to finish out this collection for myself and call it a set. But let me know, are these something that you're into? And not necessarily have to be these, but other high premium silver coins. Jermaine, you meant another great job. I am just blown away by a piece like that. The thought that this channel has come this far and that my opinions on things like this actually do matter to some folks out there in this big, big world. I appreciate the Jermaine Mint for continuing working with me, sending me products like this to review for anybody who takes interest in a product that they put out. The Jermaine Mint has and will continue to put out banger products like I just showed you and products I have showed you in the past. I have a playlist of all the reviews that I have done from the Germania Mint, and I urge you to go check those before you do buy something from them that you're really not too sure about. Let's just be honest. Pictures on the website do not give coins the justice that they deserve. And I feel that more videos like I'm doing and others do like me really do help the collector when it comes to buying coins like this because you just really can't tell from a picture online. You can get up close and personal in high definition with these cameras that it is truly amazing 
what you can actually see and you might not like and you might like. So coins like this, as far as an investment, I, I set it behind me and I can't stress it enough. It's total mintage product. It's total mintage. It's what is the product about, right? So I understand that an astronomy coin may not mean much to everybody, but it definitely means something to extra to go buy that coin. And did you enjoy that coin and still enjoy it? And again, if you've made it this far, check out that video and I will see you all on the next one. Thanks, everybody.